No, I'll never be the same. No, I'll never be the same again. No, no. Since my life has changed, and I am not the same, and I'll never be the same again. There's a great change in me. There's a great change in me. In March chapter 9, verses 23 and 24, 
A father brought his demonized son to Jesus, and he cried out for help. That child had a divine encounter with the God of miracles. Tonight, I welcome you to the final day of the global crusade with Kumui. The God of miracles will visit you tonight through the ministration of his servant, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. As he prepares to bring us the word of miracles from the Lord, I want to invite Jonathan Lee to lead us in this special section of worship. God bless you. Welcome to day six of the Global Crusade. Thank you once again, Dr. Pastor Kumi. We're so thankful for this wonderful ministry. I'm so thankful to be here and worshiping with you. The theme this week is divine encounters with the God of miracles. Can we just stand and give him praise? And let's thank God for who he is. with me wandering into the night wanting a place to hide this weary soul this bag of bones I try with all my might but I just can't win the fight I'm slowly drifting a vagabond Just when I ran out of the road, I met a man I didn't know, and he told me that I was not alone. He picked me up, turned me around, placed my feet on solid ground. I thank the Master, I thank the Savior. Now what I've seen Got no choice but to believe My doubts are burning Like ashes in the wind So, so long to my old friends A burden and bitterness Oh, you can just keep on moving Now nah, you ain't welcome here Now till I Oh, I thank the Master, I thank the Savior. 
Savior. Oh, I thank the Master. I thank the Savior. I thank God. Come on, let's shout of praise. He's worthy. We thank Him. He is so good. Lord, we give you praise for who you are. And we make space for you in our hearts. But we also make space for you in our lives, with our time, with our families. We want you to be the Lord of everything. The Lord of every part of us. We make room for you. Will you sing this chorus with me? It just says, I will make room. And I will make room for you to do whatever you want to, to do whatever you want to. And I will make room for you. Come on, sing it as a prayer. To do whatever you want to, to do whatever you want to. I will make room, and I will make room. you want to, to do whatever you want to. Oh, I will make, make room for you to do whatever you want to, to do whatever you want to. Here is where.
a louder amen. amen. Let's all have a seat. Please listen very attentively. I have just very few minutes. Lagos is the international headquarters where we have the base of our father in the Lord. One day, he was in the car and he was being driven. The driver was driving. But at a kind of bend, there was a kind of traffic delay. Then briefly, he was still sitting in the car. He just looked out through the window. And then there was a bus stop there. A man was standing there at the bus stop. Immediately, our father and the Lord saw him. Remember, he was just sitting in the car. The man was there at the bus stop. He knew that the man had a great problem. And then, he looked at the man so that the man could look at him. The man now looked at the car and looked at where our father and the Lord was sitting at the back of the car and their eyes met. And then, our father and the Lord did something. He just waved like this. Immediately he waved, he knew the problem was solved. Wait, wait, wait. Just wait. Then he prayed and said, Lord, bring him to Bagada. Bagada, the international headquarters, to come and testify. The man eventually came to Bagada and he said, when the pastor waved at him, he had had a very grievous, terrible, great problem. But as he waved at him, no prayer, no touch, no communication, just a wave. Just a wave. The problem did what? Disappear. Now, I'm just talking at the Alpha location. You are sitting face to face with the carrier of power. I don't see anything that can hinder your testimony tonight. I've not finished. I've not finished. They took the clothes, the suit of our father and the Lord to a dry cleaner. And then, the person who took the cloth was saying, please don't delay. You know, this is the cloth of Pastor Kumuyi. Somebody was there who was listening, listening in on the conversation. As he heard, this is the cloth of Pastor Kumuyi, he jumped, grabbed the suit, and then drew it to his body. His problem disappeared immediately. The final one, because of the limitation of time, there are so many. The final one has to do with me. I was still at a duty post in Nigeria then. Then I went, as we used to do, we had the privilege of seeing our father and the latter, a combined Sunday worship service. So, after the combined worship service, uh, Sunday worship service, I was privileged to see him. And after he had finished counseling me, then he said, when are you traveling back to your duty post? I told him. He said something. Johnny messes as you go. Now, as I had to, you know, fly to the capital city and then from there travel, I would take a number of hours to my duty post. As we were going, the brother driving, he didn't know that that bend was very, very sharp. By the time we saw it, it was too late. The car went off the road and we started going into the dish. Go into the dish. Go into the dish. Terrible accident. But I kept on saying, Jesus, Jesus. Then the car stopped finally. Then, I carried my leg. I carried my hand. Nothing had happened. Then I asked the driver, how are you? He said, it's okay. He came out. I came out. Within some little time, we saw people coming with bike. They said they had in town the sound of that vehicle going down that dish that many people have died in accident in that dish it's a dangerous dish i think the government has tried to resolve the problem the sharpness and all that with that dish so they came around that night when they look at us they ask who are the people inside this car i said who are the ones <laughs> they were just looking at us as if we are strangers from another planet but do you know why i'm sharing the testimony johnny messes as you go that simple pronouncement saved our lives tonight you will hear pronouncement you will receive prayer tell somebody as for me 
I'm just waiting to testify tonight. Tell somebody like that. Tell somebody, as for me, I'm just waiting to testify tonight. You can't miss it. Now we are going to rise up as we receive the anointed servant of the Most High God, our own Father, the Lord, the Convener of GCK, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumuyi. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Pastor. Everybody praise the Lord. You are blessed already. And I say to everyone, journey mercies as you go. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for everyone here, everyone online, everyone over the radio, over the television. Oh Lord, tonight, miracles of mercy, miracles of power, miracles that is needed by everyone in Jesus' name. This final day finalize every problem in every life. Heal every sickness on anyone and save everyone and put us in the path of righteousness from tonight in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is done. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. I'm looking at Hebrews chapter 13, and I'm reading from verse 8. Hebrews 13, we're looking at verse 8. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever yesterday past today present and forever perpetually i come to talk to you tonight before we pray on the continuous flow of miracles past present and perpetually look at that again jesus christ the savior the same yesterday today and forever he saved the vilest of sinners yesterday he does that today he'll continue doing it perpetually jesus christ the healer the same yesterday today and forever he healed the sick in the past is healing the sick in the present is doing it perpetually jesus christ the deliverer the same yesterday today and forever he had power to deliver from demon possession from insanity from evil powers in the past he does it today and he goes on doing it perpetually jesus christ the sanctifier the purifier the one that makes us holy righteous pure sanctified jesus christ sanctified yesterday today and forever jesus christ the redeemer he has redeemed us from the curse of the law he redeemed from the curse every curse coming from anyone coming from anywhere christ redeems from the curse he did it yesterday and today and forever jesus christ the provider all our needs it provides it says i am come that they might have life that they might have it abundantly jesus christ the provider the same yesterday and today and forever jesus our shepherd the lord is my shepherd 
I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. The same yesterday, today, and forever. He leaves me in the path of righteousness. The same. And he restores my soul. He prepares a table before me. And though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Why? Because... He is with me, Jesus Christ, the ever-present and the ever-powerful one, the same yesterday, today, and forever. And his rod and staff, they comfort me. He prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. He anoints my head and my cup runs over and you still the same yesterday today and forever surely now goodness and mercy will have to follow me all the days of my life why because of the shepherd that says i'll never leave you i'll never forsake you you're being at the crusade from the first day until this final day because it's the same yesterday today and forever that's why we'll have the continuous flow of miracles as it was in the past and so in the present and so in the future perpetually and now i say i declare that i will dwell and live with him